Hi there. I've talked about making grids before, but but actually there's there's a very um, sort of simple, straightforward way, uh, as well as using a tool, uh, to to put a grid on on your map. Um, what all you do is down in the bottom left here. Uh, there's actually quite a few sort of options, and one of those you can see quite clearly is a grid, and grid currently off. So if we just click on that, we then immediately get this grid, uh, which is great. Um, but what is it? What's its origin, um, etc.? If we hover over this point, um, you can see that there's grid settings. Uh, if we click on that, we can see a variety of um, parameters we can change and um, including what, what the lines look like, uh, when they turn off and on, and also whether you lock it to scaling, so it automatically scales as you zoom in and out. Um, let me just cancel that. But another thing you can do here is on the left, which is probably a key thing of interest, is the, the left one here um, is to set the origin and rotation interactively. Um, and um, we can also just change the origin. I don't want to set any rotation um, together, I, but I could do rotation separately or I could, could just move its origin. So I want to move the origin factory. So I click on that and you see how the whole grid now moves. If I zoom out, you can see the whole grid um, moving. So let's move into a sort of location of interest, shall we say. And let's say here I am in, in um, Leicester. Let's, um, well, that seems appropriate in the Jubilee Leisure Centre. So what I'm going to do is say, actually, you see, I've got basically a sort of bottom left corner of this grid. So, and also down here, you can see the coordinates, the XY coordinates in the current system. So I can say, actually, my grid starts right on the corner of that building. That is the origin. So we now have a locked grid um, from that origin. And um, it's scaling dynamically in and out and um, if I go to back to uh, you can see the setting is um, it's automatically scaled to 100 meters um, but I can change spacing and uh, major line intervals that sort of thing let's make a, a 1000 meters and spacing at 100 okay so now we'll see 100 meter spacing but the major lines, as you can see, look, that's the um, what I set it in, which was a thousand um, meters. So um, I hope, um, but as you can see, the origin is still still where, where, I, where I clicked. Right, and so I hope you find that useful. Thank you very much.